You hear me? You need to have your woman fucked up. Mentally. Your woman should be crazy about you today as she was when she first met you. If your woman at, at home, you need to call her. She need to drop the phone. Ring. Hello. <laughs> this is my man. Hold on. <laughs> hey, baby. That's where your woman need to be. I got to have a woman to help me do anything. I don't care what it is. I don't care. Help me do anything. If I got to do a drive-by, you better be down with me. <laughs> I want her to do the shoes. Give me the pistol. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. I got him. Pow, pow. Drive off. Drive off. I got to have a woman that can help me steal, rob, beat the child support system. You know, women know how to beat that child support system. What? But right down there, I don't know where he is. I just need some help. As soon as she get about 10,000, I just found him. Oh my God. And see, I'm like my granddad. My granddad, well, I'm, so, I'm from the South, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, down in the South, you still get a whooping when you're 23, 24 years old. You know what I'm talking about? Old people didn't play, you know what I mean? My granddad was a tight person. He say something one time, that's it. That's the way it go. I remember one time back in 1969. I remember this. I was a little bitty boy. My uncle gonna drive his car without any insurance. You know what I'm saying? And he, he, he said, I'm gonna drive my car. So my granddad, one of them old joke, one of them paying checks all the way up here, said, look here, boy, you don't need to drive that car unless you get some insurance. <laughs> my uncle lipped off. You don't tell me what to do. I'm grown. I'm 23 years old. I can drive my car. My granddad said, let me get through eating that potato pie. Then you tell me what you feel about that car. <laughs> I said, oh boy, my granddaddy finna get his ass whoa. Man, my granddaddy beat my uncle to death. You know what my grandmother said? Nothing. Only reason I know she said something, I had to go to the bathroom about 12 that night, and she was talking to him in the bedroom. She, my grandma would say, you didn't have to hit him all in the head. <laughs> my granddaddy said, every time he dropped that left, I jabbed the shit out of him. You know how old men are? We had to go buy a refrigerator one time, like the same year. We didn't know no other store but Sears. My granddaddy walked in with my grandmama. My grandma said, I want to look at some refrigerator. He said, I don't care what you look at. This is the one we're getting, right? <laughs> my grandma said, well, I don't, I'm going to look around and see if I find something. He said, I don't give a goddamn where you look. <laughs> That's the one we're getting. He said, Bruce, come on over here and sit down, or we're going to be here quite a while. <laughs> and you know, old people can talk to each other without saying anything. My grandma was walking through the store with the salesman. He said, how about this refrigerator right here? It's a new style. It has a double door. My grandma looked at it, looked back at my granddaddy. No. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get down. You know which one we got, don't you? <laughs> old men in play. He's got some more people coming in, hang on. <laughs> got a wolf man in the wrong seat. <laughs> how you doing, brother? You all right? I'm not going to bother you. I'll try to find your seat so you know I know how it is. Why y'all late, man? What happened? <laughs> huh? Been eating? Where you eating? You don't know where? <laughs> you don't want to turn me on to the spot? People be killing me with these little chicken wings. You ever go to a club and they give you 10 wings, talking about enjoy? <laughs> Shit, you better give me 50 and keep them cooking. <laughs> you give me 10 wings, they're gonna be a fight. <laughs> Unless they turkey wing size, you understand what I'm saying? And I hate skinning people, man. I do, man, I got a cousin on game, no way. Be all in front of me with a Cinnabon, you can't eat this. <laughs> you know, I've been trying to work out now, man. I got a trainer, he, he one of them type brothers. Don't think nobody's supposed to be fat. <laughs> Give me one more. Nigga, you get one more. <laughs> I'm tired. I want something to eat. I <laughs> want you to get up and eat oatmeal early in the morning. Who want to eat oatmeal? Well, you better give me some eggs and grits and buy four pieces of that raisin toast. <laughs> that raisin toast is something serious. Anybody like raisin toast? Oh, my God. I had to walk past in the store with my eye closed. My mom said, close your eyes. I said, I can't. 
my mother and my girl, man. But my mama is real, real two-faced. <laughs> Anybody mama like that? My mama two-faced. We could be sitting outside, she'd be talking about folks, look at her, she's selling